Happy Resident Evil 3 day, everybody. Yes, yes, it is that day that Jill spoke of in the beginning of Resident Evil 3 Nemesis so many years ago when it originally released back in 1999. Released, it took the world by storm. You got to explore so much of Iraq and city, so many amazing locations, and you were chased by the terrifying and unstoppable juggernaut known as Nemesis. It's truly terrifying hearing his footsteps stomp all around as he searched for you and tried to take you down. No matter how many times you beat him back, he would just get back up and keep coming. And coming. Truly, truly a nightmare. As a city burned all around you, this was the final chapter of Raccoon City. And man, what a ride. So when Capcom announced remakes of Resident Evil 2 to massive success, everybody was anticipating Resident Evil 3 remake. And when that remake finally dropped, everybody was immediately disappointed. Capcom had butchered and destroyed that remake cutting out more than 50% of the game. Items, locations, enemies, and bosses just completely removed. The game was even data mined to find areas that were completely blocked off that you could fully explore. This game was rushed out the door to get people's money on nostalgia, but not deliver what they truly deserved. So that's why I tweeted this today at Capcom and the Resident Evil team to encourage them to please give us the director's cut of Resident Evil 3 that we should have got a few years ago. We know they can do it. We know it's possible. All they got to do is get to work because we want our Resident Evil 3 director's cut remake. We also want a Code Veronica remake. Shame on you, Capcom for skipping over it for a Resident Evil 4 remake. As great as that is, Code Veronica should have came first. But let me know how you feel in the comments below. Do you want a director's cut of Resident Evil 3 remake? And do you want Code Veronica to be remade? See you in the next video, everybody. And happy Resident Evil 3 day.